this video tutorial I will explain what is APA Gateway. Here you can see the online shopping application and it has different microservices and each microservices has different responsibilities. For example, user service is responsible for user related functionalities like user create, user update, user delete, user get etc. And product catalog service is responsible for getting the list of products, adding the product, removing the product etc. And like that each microservices has different responsibilities and it will communicate with each other. Left side you can see the UI developer and suppose the UI developer wants to list out the list of users in the application or create the user or delete the user then UI developer needs to make call to the user microservice. Suppose the UI developer wants to list out the list of products with its price then the UI developer needs to make calls to the product catalog service. Like that for different uh, functionalities, the UA developer needs to make uh, calls to different uh, microservices. And uh, this will be a problem. Suppose a new microservice is added or existing microservice is modified or uh, the existing microservice is removed. In that case, the UA developer needs to make uh, code changes in the UI. And uh, this will be tedious. To avoid that, what we can do is we can uh, introduce API gateway. We will see that. Here you can see the API gateway which is in between the client UI and the online shopping different microservices. Suppose the client wants to make a call to the product catalog service. Then a client has to send request to API gateway. Then API gateway route the request to product catalog service and product catalog service process the request and send the response back to the API gateway and API gateway send response back to the client UI. Like that if client UI wants to make call to the user service then client UI send request to the API gateway, API gateway route request to the user service. Like that each and every request will be route to appropriate microservices. So API gateway is responsible for getting request from the client and routing request to the appropriate microservices and whatever response got from the microservice it will relay back to the client. So it will act as a traffic controller or router. The API gateway is in the edge of microservices architecture diagram. So it is also called edge microservice and API gateway is the single entry point for client UI. And because of API gateway, the UI developer no needs to know what and all different microservices are available and responsibility of each microservices. The UI developer only needs to know the API gateway and the API is exposed by API gateway. Remaining thing, the API gateway will take care. Whenever request comes from the client, it will route to the appropriate microservices and get the response and relay the response back to the client. Here you can see the API gateway or gateway microservice and it defines external API contract which are related to different microservices. Suppose the client send request to the user related functionality then gateway microservice accept the request and route the request to user service. User service process the request, send the response back to the gateway microservice and gateway microservice relay the response back to the client and if client send request related to cart then gateway microservice accept the request and route the request to cart microservice and cart microservice process the request send the response back to the gateway microservice gateway microservice relay the response back to the client and this technology is called API composition because gateway microservice define APIs based on the existing APIs which are present in different microservices like user service, product catalog service, etc. API gateway or gateway microservice is a single point entry for different clients. 
So in gateway microservice, we can uh, put monitoring like uh, what and all different requests came to the system from uh, which IP address uh, the request came and how much time it has taken to process the request. All those uh, monitoring stuff we can implement in gateway microservice. Also, we can perform uh, authentication in gateway microservice. Like uh, if the client has a valid credential, then only they can access the services. Otherwise, uh, the client cannot access the services. That kind of uh, authentication, we can put it in gateway microservice. And uh, there is open source uh, API gateway implementation is there, which is called uh, Zool and uh, it is uh, developed by Netflix. So, we can use uh, Zool as a API gateway, which will uh, talk to different microservices and uh, accept a request from different clients. API gateway or uh, gateway microservice is a single point entry for all the clients. So, if uh, gateway microservice is down, then the entire system will be down. To avoid that, we have to deploy multiple uh, gateway microservices and uh, we have to split the request uh, using load balancer. So, all the clients will send request to load balancer and uh, load balancer will uh, route the request to different uh, gateway microservice based on the availability. So, this way we can avoid uh, single point uh, failure. The API gateway can have different types of client like web client and mobile client. The mobile client can be iOS client and Android client. So, instead of over complicating the existing API gateway, what we can do is we can segregate to two API gateway, one for web, one for mobile. And this approach is called back and for front end pattern because we are creating different back end endpoint for the front end client. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click on like button and please subscribe to my channel. You can get Java source code and PowerPoint presentation for each and every video. That you can see it in the description section of the video. Click on show more and here you can see the description and here you can see the links to download source code and PowerPoint presentation.